everybody welcome to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at a steel ms 180c now i got this saw uh, pretty cheap i know it's a little bit of an older style but 75 bucks at a garage sale so went over uh they had posted it actually on our garage sale site on facebook so i was like awesome i think i'll take that went over got it says the saw ran said there was an issue with the oiler really no big deal right i'll take a gamble for 75 bucks so i brought it home put fresh gas in it put bar oil in it it fired up a little bit of spitting and sputtering hasn't been ran in a while um had the 16 inch bar on i sharpened that made a few cuts on a carving but it kind of was starting to spit sputter again kind of stall out if i wasn't on the throttle it off throttle it'd stall so i uh said all right whatever took the 16 inch bar off put a 14 inch bar on 3 8 pitch pico chain got that nice and sharp fired it up made a few more cuts and same thing you know you let off the gas it'll idle for a few minutes and it'll stall now if your ms 180 or 180c isn't running right just a few things to start taking a look at that's what we're gonna we're gonna go over today um go ahead and pull this off Currently, I didn't buy a replacement filter, but your air filter, right? You say, oh, this side looks clean. Your air filter side, though, is actually the bottom side, all right? So the bottom side tends to be where the airflow comes in because it sucks up through the bottom. And uh, it's, it's not bad. That's pretty decent. We'll still run that. We're going to set this aside. Now, there is a bunch of crud in here. And I can see down inside here, there's some crud. So I think that carburetor's got some junk in it. No big deal. We'll do a clean on that. Um, if you don't want to jump into a carburetor clean, though, right? Look at your filter. Is it clean or not? The next big one to look at is the spark arrestor right here. We're going to change this out real quick. Not necessarily change. I'm sorry. We're going to pop this off real quick and take a look. So to remove your spark arrestor, you need an 8 millimeter socket on your socket wrench. I'll do my best to have a link through Amazon to tools or similar tools that I'm using. You guys buy through Amazon to help support the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Let's see. I don't think these have ever been off. There's a little bit of rust on those bolts. I think this saw's been sitting a bit. I can see uh, one of those mud wasps has some mud caked in here. Now, the issues with it running could be as simple as just a dirty carb gas sits it gets gummed up i don't know what the you know last owner ran for gas you know what i mean i don't know how they mix the gas i don't know if they bought cheap gas or non-ethanol gas i see people make comments when i do these videos and that's why you run non-ethanol gas well i do my best to run the high octane non-ethanol gas and all my saws and power equipment that ethanol stuff is not good not good not good for small engines so get in here let's see if this will pop off for us so the whole muffler can come off but we're looking to remove just this cover and if you guys saw that screen fell out okay so we're looking at that screen i just dropped it so it's got sawdust on there there is a little bit of buildup. you guys can see just a little bit darker spot maybe it's kind of tough now you can take your torch to it right hold it with some pliers or grips out here uh, burn that off heard people burn it off with a torch right something like this burn it um, scrub it down with a brush whatever you want to do personally um, I don't bother putting it back on because I don't have to worry about it clogging up but I know it, it's a good idea to put it on you don't have to worry about sparks coming out of there and starting a fire on you if you're just doing firewood homeowner kind of stuff all right so scrub this baby up good it goes right back on here right you can put it in here and put everything right back together. So I'm going to assemble mine without it. Pop these bad boys back on here. We're going to take a look at that spark plug next. Ooh, this is our spark plug. This is where you'll need a scrunch. Saw used, like I bought this one used, it didn't come with a scrunch. Luckily I have enough of these bad boys laying around, right, that I've got one. If you don't have one, you can actually order these things off Amazon. They won't be an official uh, steel scrunch, but 
you know, they'll work, I'm sure. That plug was not in there very tight. That could have been my other issue. I almost didn't even need the wrench. So if you got a loose spark plug, it'll also not run very good at all. Let's see. This thing's pretty filthy. We could have a cleaner looking spark plug. That is for sure. I'm going to take my phone light. Just look in there. Just from the top of the cylinder head. I mean, there's a little bit of carbon buildup. I can see the side walls. It's really not bad in there. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. The guy that had this last probably didn't run this a ton. What I'm going to actually do is just soak this with carb cleaner over here in my dish. I have an old dog dish. If you're going to do this kind of stuff, I like, I prefer working out of a dish like this because it's not going to melt. It's not going to, you know do anything like that because some chemicals will melt plastic and uh, I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then we'll take a brush and just scrub it off so when I scrub or I have to brush down any parts I always use a brass bristle brush all right guys I don't want to use the steel metal steel brushes I prefer to use the brass brass isn't gonna gouge and scratch anything all right at least it's not supposed to lots of junk coming out of this brush that's what i get for leaving it out on the bench and carving now if you want to wear gloves gloves are a good idea too you know again i'll have try to uh, link the brush gloves carb cleaner even a dog dish wrenches through amazon in the description below you guys will be able to order up the same stuff that I've got, you'll be using what I use. Now, I think as far as this video, so it doesn't get super long right now, we're just doing basic stuff to try and get this saw running before we actually pull the carburetor and clean it, which I am going to do in the next video. This video, we're gonna just work on getting the saw cleaned up the best that we can. And then uh, the next video, I think we're gonna get into cleaning the carburetor. That way the video isn't too long and you know we're losing viewers but this looks pretty good everything looks good says this is an nkg in my opinion best spark plugs to be putting in the steel machines i believe nkg is also what steel recommends so i'll try to have this plug down below it's not a bad idea to replace your plug if the saw is not running right you can clean it try it if it doesn't work well replace it no big deal the one you will need is BPM8Y. Again, I'll link it down below through Amazon. You get them pretty cheap through Amazon to get packs of them. Um, NKG though, best ones to get in my opinion. Take my plug, pop that in for now by hand. All right. Yeah, this wasn't even tight last time. This was barely in there. Tight's tight. Don't kill it. All right, guys. You feel it stop. Minimal force. It's in. All right, so that's done. We've already addressed whether we need a filter or not, right? I understand this box is filthy. It's all right. That's done. There's our cover. Now... When I had said, when I got this, the, they said the oiler wasn't working well, so I filled it with gas and oil and made some cuts. And then what I did to check and see how that oiler was, to see if it's working or not, is I actually removed the bar, right? So twist this off. I'm going to clean all this stuff with Super Clean and get it looking real nice. It was twist forward, which brings the bar back. All right, we've got our chain. If you keep this all together, you don't have to worry about your chain getting in knots and trying to put it on. And the frustration that comes with that sometimes. All right, so this is all caked up with sawdust and junk. Normal. All right, this is where your oil comes out right here. There's a little hole right above my finger. You got this big hole. Right above it, there's a small hole. Now, if you fill up your oiler and you turn your saw on, right, or you look and this is all very dry and there's no oil, your bar isn't getting oil, you can put oil in, fire up your saw, and let it just idle. 
and oil should just come pumping out this hole. If it doesn't, well, you're looking at a whole different project where you have to take apart a lot of pieces and we got to replace your oil pump. <coughs> so what I'm looking to do though is I just want to clean it up. Before I really get into using this saw and when I buy used saws, I just like to have things cleaned up and ready to go to work. So what I'm going to actually do off screen, I'll bring it back all done. I'm going to spray this down with super clean. I'm going to give it a scrub, wipe it down, come back, and we'll get this thing back together. Okay, yeah, so I just got back from cleaning all these parts, all right? Took my super clean. Again, I'll have it linked in the description below through Amazon. And as you can see, things are cleaned up, right? Much nicer. I always feel like if we're pulling these things apart, we might as well go through and just do a good job, clean it up, have it all ready to go. Right, here's the cover. Now this sticker wants to come off, but I'm leaving it. So you guys will know it's the same saw in the next video. All right, all clean. Now, if you decide to use super clean on these parts, you could soak them down, blast them, you know, with some water, brush, whatever. But like this sticker may come off. Some of your stickers and warning labels could come off. So just keep that in mind. If you decide to do anything as so with the uh, with the motor and the whole unit with super clean and say water to clean it, you have to be very conscious about not getting water in your carburetor, okay? <clears throat> and you got to make sure your spark plugs in and you got to make sure things are together and just be very careful like I just went and cleaned all this but I did not just hose the whole thing off I had a very very light stream coming out of the sprayer that I have um, off my garden hose and I've got a bucket I wash all this in but what I did was sprayed super clean down here where it was all grimy in here and then just kind of rinsed everything off carefully so as you guys see it's all nice and cleaned up and ready for the next video when we do the carburetor now right you do all that you can put your saw back together and let's say you're not ready to get into the carb work right because we're just doing basic stuff you're like man i'm still uh, not sure i want to tackle a carburetor job yet what else can i look at that could be a problem for the saw not running right well you can always come over here open your gas cap and if you got gas you can dump it out if you want but you take a long pair of needle nose pliers something or something with a hook and get in here and fish out your gas line now this can be tough because you could give yourself a problem that you didn't have prior to doing this and that is you could well let's get this out of here first make our life just a touch easier let's get the gas cap right out take your pliers push down you'll see the thing in there hanging up if you pull it sideways it just releases <clears throat> now in pulling this out to look at the gas filter you could bust your line and then you got to do a line repair you know you got to put a whole new line in which isn't horrible it's really not these are things you got to plan on though if you're going to do this work yourself you can run into other issues so this looks pretty clean this is the filter on the gas line there's not even any crud on it nothing not clogged looks good if yours is clogged again guys you can order a new one up no big deal you can go to your dealer order it offline whatever now i do recommend if your saw has been sitting for a while dump this gas out right now dispose of it properly for your area get rid of it okay steel chainsaw gas should be mixed with steel motor the oil right because it's a two-stroke with quality gasoline and you should be mixing that 50 to 1 when you go buy the bottles at your steel dealer uh, the back of the bottle will tell you how to mix that properly. All right, so gas and that stuff was checked and good. Oiler. If your oiler is not oiling, the first thing you can do before thinking, hey, I got to change out the oil pump, same thing as the gas process. You come in here, pull this off, right? You can take this out. Same concept. Set that aside. See if you can get in there and take a look at that oil filter. Now that's not on as long of a line. So if you can look in there and move it around, which is what I'm doing, you can see there's no grime on it, no sawdust stuck to it. It looks pretty darn clean. Plus I know this oiler is working, but if yours is nasty, you're looking into doing a whole nother job. So 
Just letting you guys know. Let's pop this bad boy back in. Now, a lot of my saws, I don't have these easy start poles on it. And I was quite surprised about uh, how easy they are to start. But I'm not sure if, like, I'm totally sold. I don't know yet. I like to drop start my saws. You can't drop start these. You'll bust them all up. I'm going to run it, though. Don't get me wrong. We're going to do some carving with this bad boy. But, all right, guys. So, as of right now, if your saw was running weird, we've gone through and we've done a bunch of light work all right before you get into any real serious work we just did light work all right just to recap we pulled the cover off checked our air filter determined our filter was good right we're going to reuse it or it's bad and we ordered a new one okay we went ahead pulled our spark plug took a look we determined hey this thing is all corroded and cruddy we either cleaned it or we ordered a new one we also spun the saw around we pulled off this little cover in the screen that's in there and said hey it's cruddy so we either ordered a new one scrubbed it clean or at your own risk you guys decided to leave it off now those are a few quick and simple fixes along with checking the filter on your gas line so if you go through and you do all these basic things first the cleaning that's extra that's just something i like to do you don't have to clean it you go through, you check this though, swap that filter if need be. You go through, you do all these simple things, your saw still isn't running right. Now it's time to start thinking about cleaning your carburetor or ordering a new carburetor. Now, I've done some work with HIPAA carburetors and uh, they seem to be a pretty good carburetor. But uh, we're going to get more into that in the next video where we're going to pull this apart. I'm going to walk you guys through cleaning the carburetor on your steel MS 180, 180C. And uh, hopefully we'll get that thing running a little bit better for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you out, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. When you hit subscribe, hit that bell. Hit all. Be sure to turn on those YouTube notifications. Guys, don't miss future uploads. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, keep an eye out for that next video. Cleaning the carb on the Steel MS 180. Have an awesome day.